On this video we're taking a look at our NHL parlay for the game that are happening on Sunday, February 20th, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Our first parlay pick is, Montreal Canadiens vs NY Islanders. Islanders minus 1.5. Montreal has had a couple good showings under interim coach Martin St. Louis. They have been outshot just once in St. Louis's first four games. The Canadians also lost 2-1 to the Blue Jackets and got their third win in three months on Thursday against the Blues. Teams that play the Canadians are likely taking note that they may not be able to roll over Montreal as easily now. If there is any coach that can make necessary adjustments, it's Barry Trotz. The Islanders beat the Canadians 6-2 earlier this season but may be expecting a little more a fight this time around. New York's team strength is containment and minimizing opponents' high percentage offensive chances. That is a key component of Trot's coach teams. They will emphasize defense and keep Montreal from generating much offense. The Islanders are having a rough season with their offense struggling immensely, scoring only 2.45 goals per game. Brock Nelson and Anders Lee have scored 29 goals and 15 assists combined, while Matthew Barzil, Oliver Wallstrom, and Anthony Beauvillier have added 30 goals and 40 assists to the top two lines, but the rest of the forward unit has struggled. Only six forwards have scored seven goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the top heavy offense as a result. As pesky as Montreal has been in St. Louis's first four games as head coach, they still have two losses of two-plus goals in that span. Even when they outshot Washington, Montreal lost 5-2. Although the Islanders' offense isn't exactly prolific, the Canadians really struggle to keep teams off the scoreboard which hasn't changed all year. The Islanders' last three wins have each been three goal games, showing that lately when they win, they take care of both sides of the puck and bury the opponent. The Islanders won't be taking the Canadians lightly. Given that, New York having their foot on the gas is more than enough to bury Montreal. Our second parlay pick is, Buffalo Sabres vs Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets win. The Sabres are a respectable 2-2-1 in the month of February. But Columbus has beat Buffalo twice this season, and it looks like they are going to make it three in a row. The Blue Jackets are playing well right now with four wins in their last five games and six out of their last eight. The only two losses over those eight games were Calgary who is atop the Pacific and Florida who is atop the Atlantic. Columbus has middled this year, but both long-term and recent form lean toward them over Buffalo. Despite the Sabres playing pesky lately, they'll be on the second game of a back-to-back -back and more vulnerable as they are 1-4-4 in those games this season. Buffalo is playing the second game of a back-to-back -back situation here and that is bound to take a toll on the Sabres at this point. The Sabres have struggled with keeping the puck out of their own net and that could prove problematic against a Columbus team that is coming off seven goals in their win over Chicago. We've seen Columbus tally 11 goals in the first two meetings against Buffalo this season. With this being the third game in four nights for the Sabres, one has to think that fatigue is going to take a toll here. Entering Saturday, over the past eight games, the Blue Jackets have scored 35 goals and allowed 28 to Buffalo's 21 goals scored and 28 allowed over that same stretch. Columbus has six players with at least 30 points to Buffalo's three players with 30 plus points. The Blue Jackets are overall a little bit deeper and more balanced. That is shown in two wins in two games over Buffalo as well as team performance over the last few weeks. The Blue Jackets should take care of business in this one. Our third parlay pick is, Vegas Golden Knights vs San Jose Sharks. Sharks win. The Vegas Golden Knights travel to San Jose to take on the Sharks for the first time this season. San Jose has very little to play for this season, while Vegas is still in the hunt for first in the Pacific Division. Despite the Sharks only having won two games in the last ten, they are the team to target in this matchup. The Vegas Golden Knights come into this road contest with an overall record of 28-18-4. Through 50 games, the Golden Knights are second in the Pacific Division. On the season, they have found the net 165 times, good for a rank of 10th among NHL teams. Heading into the game, Vegas is the 19th ranked defensive team, allowing opponents to score at an average rate of 2.96 goals per game. So far, the Golden Knights have a strength of schedule rating of 4th in the league. 
When diving into their opponent adjusted scoring margin, they come into this game as the 12th ranked team in the NHL. Through 43 games, the San Jose Sharks goal and overall scoring leader is Timo Meyer, with 50 points. He has reached his mark of 23 goals on a shooting percentage of 12.6%. So far, 39.0% of his goals have come during power play time. Behind him is Tomas Hurton, who has 18 assists to go along with his 22 goals. However, when on the ice, the Sharks are minus 3.0 in scoring differential. San Jose's top goalie is James Reimer, who is giving up an average of 2.9 goals per game. In his 28 games played, he has turned in 16 quality starts, giving him a quality start percentage above the league average. Vegas did get Jack Eichel back this week, but he hasn't been able to make an impact. Couple that with the loss of Mark Stone and potentially Robin Leonard for another game, and the Sharks have an actual chance at winning this game. The San Jose Sharks get set to host the Vegas Golden Knights, with an overall record of 22-21-5. This mark places them 7th in the Pacific Division. Through 48 games, the Sharks have scored 130 goals, giving them an average of 2.69, this output gives them a rank of 26th among NHL teams. On defense, San Jose is the 20th ranked unit, giving up 3.1 goals per contest. Through 50 games, the Vegas Golden Knights' leading goal scorer is Jonathan Marchessault. With his 15 assists, he is the second in overall points, coming in at 35. On the season, he is turning 13.4% of his shots into goals. In addition, the Golden Knights have benefited from the strong play of Chandler Stevenson, who is the team's overall leader in points. In Vegas's 50 games, he has come up with 12 goals on a shooting percentage of 16.9%. While on the ice, his offensive production has led to a plus-minus rating of 1.0. Vegas's top goalie is Robin Leonard, who is giving up an average of 2.86 goals per game. In his 34 games played, he has yet to turn in a quality start. So far, the Sharks have played the 15th toughest schedule in the league. And, when taking into account San Jose's scoring margin relative to the quality of their competition, they come in with a power ranking of 22nd in the NHL. They don't have a ton of depth in their lineup, and their goaltending has been questionable all season, but this game should at least be close. San Jose has a distinct advantage on the penalty kill where they are ranked 4th, and in the face-off circle where they rank 9th. If they can limit Vegas's chances and get good goaltending, winning this game isn't out of the question. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.